Genero's Nethercott's poem, Thistlefoot, is a haunting and evocative exploration of the fragility of life and the inevitability of death. The poem is a powerful meditation on the themes of mortality and impermanence, with Nethercott's use of rich and sensory language creating a vivid and unsettling atmosphere throughout. The poem begins with a vivid image of a bird lying dead on the ground, its beak a bright blade, a striking contrast to the dull sidewalk. This opening sets the tone for the rest of the poem, with the imagery of death and decay juxtaposed against the mundane and everyday. The bird's death is described in almost forensic detail, with its hollow bones like a broken umbrella and pin feathers like razors, highlighting the fragility of life and the inevitability of death. Nethercott then moves on to describe the reactions of those who witnessed the bird's death, with the speaker remarking that some people gasped and others didn't see it at all. This observation underscores the idea that death is a constant presence in the world, yet it is often overlooked or ignored by those around us. The speaker's own reaction to the bird's death is also notable, with the image of the bird's delicate skull haunting them long after the event has passed. The poem then takes a surreal turn, with Nethercott introducing the character of Thistlefoot, a half-man, half-crow, who appears to the speaker in a dream. Thistlefoot is described as being covered in feathers and twitching with nerves, a grotesque and unsettling figure. His appearance in the poem can be seen as a personification of death, a reminder of the fragility of life and the inevitability of our own mortality. Thistlefoot speaks to the speaker in a language they do not understand, a jumble of black caws and gutturals. This communication barrier reinforces the idea that death is a mystery, something that is beyond our understanding. Thistlefoot's presence in the poem serves to underscore the central themes of mortality and impermanence, as well as the idea that death is a constant presence in our lives. The poem ends with a powerful image of the speaker walking away from the dead bird, with the sound of Thistlefoot's gibberish echoing in their ears. The final lines of the poem are particularly poignant with the speaker reflecting on the impermanence of life and the inevitability of death, we walk away and leave it all, slash bones already dust, feathers all blown. Overall, Nethercott's Thistlefoot is a powerful meditation on the themes of mortality and impermanence. The imagery in the poem is vivid and unsettling, with Nethercott using rich and sensory language to create a haunting atmosphere. The appearance of Thistlefoot serves as a powerful reminder of the constant presence of death in our lives, while the image of the dead bird underscores the fragility of life. Ultimately, the poem serves as a powerful reminder of the impermanence of all things, and the importance of cherishing every moment of our lives.